Hey guys, Lenny here and welcome to another Let's Play Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. This is the last mission of the human campaign. So this is the mission where Artis gets his new sword. Uh, it's called Frostmorn. And yeah, now he's talking with Muradin where it is because Muradin knows where it is. And Artis doesn't, so Muradin needs to lead him. But also, Morganus and his undead army is also attacking me at the same time. So it's gonna be tricky because it's the last level. It's also the hardest, but luckily I can uh, defend my base easily. So I hope the cutscene is over very soon because it's boring, at least for me that is. Alright, here they go. And he is giving his captain full command, but I'm still commanding the base so it seems like I'm the captain. Yeah, go into the way gate. Hmm. Anyways, let's start this. We're not gonna focus too much on my base now, maybe a little bit. But I'm gonna destroy those monsters there first. Because. I didn't remember this mission very well, so I didn't know what to do. I, uh, I knew that I should kill Morganis eventually, but I forgot I needed to get the sword. And here for some reason I'm giving his my stuff, I mean give the dwarf my stuff. Okay. And even more wolves. Also an easy battle, but they're just creeps. They're not designed to kill an entire army. These guys are getting attacked at two places at once. But I'm not gonna focus that much. Instead, I'm getting a new item which gives me 150 plus HP, which is always nice. And just checking how my battle is going at my base. It's going pretty good, so I can keep on focusing on getting to Frostmourne. And yeah, I don't know what these uh, mobs are called. I think they're called Weddingos, but I don't know for sure. I might be saying total crap right now, okay. Alright, gained a tome of uh, agility, which gives me 1 plus agility. Mm, here's a little graveyard. Guess what comes out? Yeah, skeletons. And some scary ghosts. Mm. Very easy. They're not even doing big damage on my units. I'm also gonna build my army up a little bit. And yeah. And this guy is a. Uh, boss you know well, I don't know if you can call him that but he has 2000 HP and he got one two three four guards with him so yeah and I only got four units and two heroes well that shouldn't be a problem as you can see yeah very easy fight Uh, 
fucking mic. I think I'm gonna buy a new microphone very soon, but I don't know when. And now the rate, that's what it's called, um, is gonna warn me about uh, Frostmourne, that's the sword. But Arsen Arthas doesn't care, he just wants revenge on Mulganis for killing his people. Very noble young Arthas. And now they died. So here's another cutscene where Artis gets his sword. So it's only Muradin and Artis right now and they're talking about the sword. And Muradin reads what it says on the sign. It's an old language, we don't know what it says. Well, he says something about that the blade is cursed. And Arthas doesn't care and gets the blade anyway. And here's what happens. Yeah, yeah, some more talking. And he is now shining with his mace. And look how pretty the blade is. Oh no, Muradin! Well, I think he's dead. Well, actually he isn't. In World of Warcraft, uh, what's it called, Threat of the Lich King, you will hear the story, what happened to him, and you will know that he is alive. Sorry if I spoiled something to you guys, but okay. That's what I do. I spoil a lot. And now I've got my new um, maze, no sword, and I've built up an army. So I can now do stuff. Does that even make sense? Uh, who cares? Gonna build some more peasants so I can... Uh, Cut more wood, and this is my little army. I'm gonna build it up a little bit, and I'm under attack again by a small undead force. Mm -hmm. Very easy, indeed. Well, I think my forces are big enough to defeat Mulganis' forces, but I might be wrong. So I'm gonna build some more units and then move out. So I'm gonna move, gonna ignore all the spiders. And well, my stupid helicopter doesn't ignore them. But yeah, I don't need a helicopter. S stupid thing, anyways. And there's his base. I hope this will be an easy victory, but I doubt it since this is the last mission. And as we all know, last missions are always hard. At least for the games I play. Those troops come out of nowhere and look what is that, it's another lightning beam tower and a catapult, my two most annoying things in Warcraft, lightning beam towers and catapults. But those other towers aren't upgraded yet into lightning beam towers, oh, and that is the most strongest unit in Warcraft, that dragon I'm targeting right now when I'm playing as an undead I always mess with them and I quickly destroy my enemy with them it's the most strongest unit in Warcraft so 
uh, and Arthas is soloing a uh, lightning beam tower which is very good because with the sword he now hits over 100 as you can see he destroyed it single handedly and yeah mm. I was gonna send some reinforcements but I found a undead mine where they're gathering gold and stuff so I guess I should destroy that also 